Welcome my YouTube channel please subscribe E. Gareth Taylor. Man City boss hopes to trump Emma Hayes Chelsea in tight WSL title race. Manchester City are the form team heading into the WSL run-in, and manager Gareth Taylor holds hopes of beating closest rivals Chelsea to his first league title. Watch Man City vs Everton live on Sky Sports Premier League on Saturday. Kick off 12 p.m. Twists and turns are part and parcel of every title race. Some seasons have runaway winners, some spring a surprise, while others keep you guessing until the close in May, when a victor finally reveals themselves. Gareth Taylor hopes this campaign can be the latter for Manchester City, who are currently locked on 34 points at the top of the Women's Super League with rivals Chelsea. Winning the league is the aim at the start of every campaign for a club as ambitious as City, but a triumph that has been realized only once, back in 2016 under Nick Cushing's management. Plenty of false dawns have followed. City are the team every neutral wants to watch, but the side that seems to consistently finish second, sometimes third best. Why would this season be any different? Well, as Taylor sits down for an exclusive chat with Sky Sports before facing Everton at the Joy Stadium on Saturday, he does so with optimism, buoyed by a euphoric success over Chelsea a fortnight ago. No one result wins you a title, but certain games carry higher risk than others, greater consequences. Across the desk from Taylor, City's men's manager, Pep Guardiola, knows that feeling all too well. Perceptive Pep, a serial achiever in his seven and a half years at the Etihad, has often been the master of big game mentality. Last season, it won them a historic treble. Pep's side face their own test of steel in the Manchester Derby, live on Sky Sports, 24 hours after Taylor City host Everton this weekend, and the intention will be the same win. I have lots of conversations with Pep, Taylor began, and the main one, in terms of the success of last season, is about being defensively solid. The foundation has to be right. Nothing else works efficiently if that is not right. In previous seasons, their class shone through and just about got them over the line, winning the Premier League, but to win the trebly the way they did, it was built on solid defensive foundations. WSL title race. Who's got the edge? We're seeing the same from us now and we're going to continue with that focus because things can turn quickly. Defending should be as exciting as all the other stuff. To build, you have to have a concrete platform. At one point last season, Pep was playing with four center backs, and at times this season, we've done the same. City are on the longest run of clean sheets by a WSL side this season and have gone nearly five hours, in all competitions, without conceding a goal. In that time, they have faced Chelsea, Arsenal, and Spurs, all away from home. They boast the most stubborn defensive unit in the division and a goalkeeper who has the second-highest save ratio. Kiara Keating, incidentally February's WSL Player of the Month, also leads the charts for expected goals, XG, prevented. It's nice to score loads of goals, but how you cope at the other end is just as important, Taylor, who spent portions of his playing career in defense, continues. Games are never played on paper, so whether we're favorites to win or not, we have to earn the right. We have our women's team, both academies, Pep's team, all the teams in the group. We have a similar identity. We play the city way. Taylor's core principles have remained steadfast in the three and a half seasons he's been in charge at City, but there has been evolution this term, a transition towards more solid ground. In the past, it's been leveled at us about having a soft underbelly, he continues. We've tweaked training slightly so we're more scenario-based, putting the players under real stress, which is more akin to match scenarios. We've got a great defensive record this season, and it's partly because of that. He's right. City have become resilient and defiant, almost robotic. It's as if they feel impenetrable. You don't travel to London three times on the bounce and come away having not conceded a single goal without a real determination to see games through. The shift is clear, but let us not forget that City comprehensively beat Chelsea 2-0 last March before falling to three defeats in their final six games. Inconsistencies have derailed them before. How about now? Confidence and consistency are key. 
Consistent messages are so important, but also having the bravery to be us. It's very simple what we do here, but it's hard to play against when we get it right. Thanks for watching.